Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and in this video we will learn how to measure amniotic fluid index on ultrasound. Amniotic fluid index gives an estimate of the amniotic fluid volume. On the left we have a schematic diagram showing the maternal abdomen. This round structure is the umbilicus and down here is the symphysis pubis. This white box is the ultrasound probe. This red dot is the indicator or the orientation marker. For calculating the amniotic fluid index, the uterus is divided into four quadrants using the umbilicus as a reference point. Imaginary horizontal and vertical lines pass through the umbilicus and divide the abdomen and pelvis into four quadrants. For each quadrant, the ultrasound transducer is placed on the maternal abdomen to locate the deepest unobstructed pocket of amniotic fluid that is free from fetal parts or umbilical cord loops. This vertical depth is measured in centimeters. Only the vertical measurement is taken. Do not take any horizontal measurements. If there is any fetal part or any part of the umbilical cord present, do not measure that pocket. Look for another pocket within that quadrant. This measurement is at quadrant 1. It is the left upper quadrant. Move the probe accordingly to find a pocket of amniotic fluid that is free from fetal parts or umbilical cord loops. After you find a pocket, you can take the vertical measurement in this way. Then you can move to the second quadrant, which is the left lower quadrant. After finding the required amniotic fluid pocket, you can take the measurement in quadrant 2. We have taken two measurements and now we will move to the third quadrant, quadrant 3, which is the right lower quadrant. You can move in a clockwise manner. Locate an amniotic fluid pocket and take the measurement in the third quadrant. And finally, you can take the measurement in the fourth quadrant, which is the right upper quadrant. Locate a pocket of fluid that is free from fetal parts or umbilical cord loops. And then you can take the measurement. After you have four measurements of the four quadrants, you can add them together and you will get the amniotic fluid index. The normal range of the amniotic fluid index must be between 5 and 25 centimeters. If the AFI is below 5 centimeters, it indicates oligohydramnios. And if it is more than 25 centimeters, it indicates polyhydramnios. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.